We know less than 200,000 of the nearly 16 million Americans that served in World War II were still alive in 2022, according to the National World War II Museum. Our Hannah Grace is at a service honoring the man thought to be the last surviving World War II veteran in Clinton County. Some people are heroes, but they don't know it. It's That's people that react without thinking to do what they need to do to fix a problem. And so it is awful hard to, you know, call yourself a hero, but that's what a hero is. James Winjet, also known as Red, joined the U.S. Navy in 1943, shortly after he moved to Frankfurt. He was only 18 years old. I didn't decide. <laughs> the guy just took a stamp, boom, you're in the Navy. Red was a part of the underwater demolition team, a secret mission similar to today's Navy SEALs. Red's job was to swim out to enemy ships and attach explosive devices. It was a good 30 years before people started talking about the EDTs. Red was presented with a flag that was flown over the Capitol building in his honor, a declaration that April 23rd be James Red Winjet Day, and awarded one of Clinton County's highest honors, being named a county gem. Together with the citizens of Frankfort, Indiana, recognize James Winget for his bravery and honor. We extend our gratitude for his dedication and hereby proclaim April 23rd, 2023 as James Red Winget Day. Today, Red is almost 99 years old and still lives in Clinton County. He enjoys tending to his tomato plants and telling stories to his family. He's our storyteller of our family and we all love him dearly. <laughs> <laughs> Although Red claims he is not a hero, those who know him would argue otherwise. I tell you, I never expected it to like this. Uh, uh, I was happy when they did say thank you for your service. Hannah Grace, Star City News, Frankfurt.